just blend the color to it. See that? It's a very little effort you put into it. It's already fixed the problem. And over here, I want to have that softer on this side. Blend in the light from the outside over here. Yep, that's good. And the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take out that little uh, that white space here. I don't like it to be so continuous. So I'm going to take that out with this big flat brush. It's easier to take out the color and still make it smooth. So I'm going to take that out to make that a little lighter. There. So the lifting off step in this process is to reorganize uh, some of the texture and the values. There's something you don't want it to be there, take it out. And you can put in some color to it after. It will be fine. It will be easy. Just take it out over here. Okay. And I'm going to use a smaller brush. Uh, from the next areas. I want to also smooth some of the area here at the light a little bit. And underneath here, I want it to be also have it smoother over here, a smooth transitions. color in here because it looks a little bit more red in this area. Okay. Like that. Good. So have some fresh colors. And down here I'm gonna add a little blue colors. Let's add a little blue colors right in this area. A little bit of blue color for the white hair area. Yes, yeah, that's good. Okay. A little blue color, a little bit more over there. So what I'm going to do also soften the areas in this shape. It's not so hard edge. A lot of softened transitions right here. At this point, I'm also going to in start introduce the yellowish colors uh, into the inside the eye area. So I'm going to start putting the color in here. But I'm going to leave the white dot. The white dot is right here. Like that. There's a black area. I need to, dark area that I need to put it in. But I'm not going to do it right now. I'll do it later. I'll take off some of the color. Doesn't need to be there. Okay, now I'm going to start moving on to some other area here. Here it has some connection between that color and here. So I'm going to start adding some color, take and add some color, so make it a little bit more realistic to the reference. Okay, now I have some wet area here. And I could add some detail into it. Now is the step. We can add some detail color to it. Make a little uh, darker purple color. Now start over here. A little bit of pattern. Okay, have darker color area including down here color. okay down here have a little darker tone and I could add some pattern some small shape 
down here, suggesting the hair. So you, it's good that you do this that when this is kind of wet and it will be much easier. We're going to do a little blue color in here. It looks like it catch the shadow a little bit too warm. So we're going to take this time to add a little blue colors on the top. Okay, that the catch the shadow could be finished at this step. Get it in this area. Okay. Okay. We're going to make a little dark purple colors, add a little yellow color to it, make a little kind of little brownish colors. Okay, good. This is a dark enough color. Okay, what we're gonna do now, be a little careful. Uh, inside here. They include the white. painted the area around the eye. I think it said get down a little bit the shape. Yeah. The corner. Okay. And also added detail for the nose. Good. As soon as we have the eye, uh, the cat look more real. And connect the colors onto this side. I think that's a little bit too light. So I'm gonna like that. Have the cat. So now it's just the last step that will be doing the Oh, wait a minute, there is some, uh, a few colors right here, a small shape. nose a lot of warmer colors so I'm gonna put a little red into the nose here that's it okay um, I'm gonna do something back here with little kind of orange colors okay have a little dry brush look Red. So. 
So a little uneven. Sorry. Here. Okay. They're probably what we want here. And also a little kind of orange, more yellowish, light brown colors. Right here, we can do. Maybe a little more red on the ears here. The last part of this painting that is going to scratch for the fur uh, and for the hair. And uh, this is the exacto knife that I'm going to use. I'm going to do a little over here. Get down here, and the second one is up here. And there's another one this way, and couple, and get down over on this side. I can also scratch some area over here, a few, very small one, and also scratch something uh, next to the ear to create an illusion for that. And be a little careful when you scratch this. There's not much room that you can go back to uh, if you do something wrong. So be really careful about this. this. Is really what you need to do, and try not to scratch too deep into the paper. Okay, just keep it enough. Just scratch the surface of the of the colors, so you create the Y shape. I'm gonna scratch this one. Also going to scratch some hair from the ear over here. Make a little uneven. Okay, there is a little. There's enough, good enough indication. There's the hair, and a little bit hair come out on this side. Says other suggestions. Okay, a couple more over here. And, and that will be good. Maybe make this a little bit stronger. A little bit stronger, a little bit. <laughs> okay, and that is good.